I tried. It just doesn't actually fit with the meter of the song, though. I found my thrill on Prospect Hill. And see, it, it doesn't quite work. I tried, anyway. Yeah, there's a lot of that going on around here. I have no idea what this is. This may be something left over from a crashed vertebrate. I mean, I can move it, but I can't pick it up, I can't delete it, scrap it, it's just, it's a thing. And there's the shadow from the vertebrate. Trying to look through what I can do here and what I need to do here. You can see? What I want to do is I want to put buildings here in this street. Because it's it's basically the only open, conveniently flat, for the most part, useful location for building stuff. So it's like So I start out with this building. Making sure it's reasonably straight. It looks good. I mean, I'm hoping that it goes down. I I try that and okay, that's kind of floating. What I should have done is I should have just pulled it back in a little bit, but I didn't. So, anyways, we're gonna build our standard. Well. We're going to start with a standard barn building. Although we change it up a little bit. There we go. Got that. And then we need... See, part of the problem I have with this is I don't test it out after I build it. That was a mistake on my part. And let's rotate this piece. See, the reason why I rotate this piece is because it lines up with this half piece better if I do it that way. Now, I was thinking, I almost considered doing these half height. I got the stairs coming up, so we're going to go ahead and do the full height here. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the roof a little different than I usually do. We'll do this. We'll come over here and we'll do this. And then... We do this. There we go. We find the right place for that. Right there. There we go. It goes there. All right. So there's and that. And then we get the other one. We put that one there. We put that one there. And what I wanted to do was put this. Not that one. That one. See, I wanted to put that on top of that. But it just, it wasn't cooperating. So I thought I'd come in here and put the windows in, see if that helped any. So we've got the window there, we've got the window there, and now we'll try again. And it'll go the other way, <laughs> but it won't go this way. It just isn't going to do it. It'll do it here. So we'll uh, move that and we'll put that and Okay. All right. So it sort of worked. 
I think I could probably go back and put the piece in I wanted to now, but it might be better to just leave well enough alone. I may end up having to rebuild this building now anyways. Okay, so here's this. Okay. So let's uh, put up some railing so people don't fall off the side. Let me go with the plain and simple ones because it doesn't need to be fancy. Okay. So we've got that. And this was a bad one. So let's put in a good one. Now, the streets have these lights, but the park has a modified version of the uh, little round stick ones. I'll move this over a little bit, too. I wanted to give it some space. So let's put this up here. Looks good. Okay. So next... I wanted to get some light here in the park first yeah I wanted to put the the one sim settlements plot is actually just a great big fountain that they grow tarberries in it starts out as a small one and it gets bigger as it levels up and I'm thinking this would be a perfect place for a tarberry fountain so we're gonna stick that in here Get some of this stuff a little bit out of the way so there's room. Okay. Now, whatever it's picked is not the one I want. And I did finally figure find out that WB means wooden base, CB means concrete base. So we want this to have a concrete base, so that's what we put up. Now in here we're going to have a bar. I thought they had different signs on the front of them, but I guess I'm wrong. I'll, I'll put a Slocum's Joe in the, uh, along the other wall. So, you know, like I usually do. Now, see, these are not quite what are in the, in the park, but they're close enough. But we're going to move another one here to get it closer. And I decide that since I've got this utility pole, basically, in the way... What we're going to do is we're going to put one of our handy dandy little connectors on it. I think about putting it on the box, but instead I just move it up. There, I connect it to that. And we connect it over here. And we kind of straighten it up a little bit. All right. Looks good. So let's put in one of these little park lights. And... Place it with one that works. And we'll place, we'll place this tilted one with, again, one that works. And I think about it, and then I think, well, let's stick with outside. Put another street light in. We'll connect it up. And we'll see how far down the street we can take it. Looks like about there. Okay. And now we'll put a connector up here. And we'll connect it up. All right. Now we go into the building and we see that these lights are not on, so they're no good. So we're just going to take them out and we're going to put in the other ones.
and they immediately light up so we know they're good. <laughs> That's a uh, good start, anyway. And we'll put a couple of lights in here. And we'll put a couple of lights up in here. Maybe I should have used the uh, raftered ones. Oh, well. They're up here. And I decide while I'm up here, I'm going to put in... Nice beds. My people deserve nice beds. There's one. There's two. We'll put one here. And we'll put one here. And we'll save this corner over here for a sofa and maybe a fireplace. Something nice. And we'll scrap these. And we'll insert a door. As soon as I find the right section. There we go. I guess I could have went down to the creative creation club stuff. All right, so we have a door in there. And let's see. That looks fairly close. All right. That looks pretty good. Let's see, can we squeeze a couple of beds in here? We can, but it's annoyingly difficult. <laughs> Since I'm like right on the line. I mean, there's, there's a possibility that these people won't actually use these beds. I mean, they are in the settlement and they show up on the list, but they may not be nav meshed where they can get to it. But I'm not really all that worried about it because the provisioner needs a bed that he's never going to sleep in. And if I put up a guard, he's going to need a bed that he's never going to sleep in. So, you know, it works there. We're going to go ahead and finish up. I haven't seen anything worrisome or dangerous over this way. But it probably isn't going to hurt to put up some some form of barricade to protect my citizens. I mean, to be honest with you, most of the hubble the hullabaloo seems to be coming from where the uh The two gates are. All right, put in a concrete block wall and sometimes it just works better that way. Sometimes you're trying to figure out how to do this, and it's like, uh, do I need this piece? Do I need this piece? Because for some reason, it, it would be uncool to use the same piece over and over and over and over again. And I decide that since I want to, uh, There's two miscellaneous structures here. Did you notice that? It's kind of weird. All right, so I've got that bus already. Let's use a different bus. There we go. We use the city bus. The one should be like a school bus and have something school-like on it, but it doesn't. Okay, where can I put this? Where can I make this fit? Oh, there it goes. All right, put that there. And we'll uh, clear this, and that tree, tree looks weird. I think we'll get rid of that tree. Because 
I am going to put my own trees in here. I see there's even more space in here that seems to be within the settlement bounds. So. Yeah, see, I can't put the, the full sized one in here. And I can put this one in here, but it's, it leaves a gap. And I can't quite put another one in there, so I'll put two of those in there. All right, that works. This can go, it doesn't need to stay here. And now we'll get back to the junk fences and we'll pick the corner piece up. Now the question is, is what am I gonna do with that truck? I have seen people move vehicles just by grabbing hold of a garbage can and pushing the garbage can into the vehicle and the vehicle moves too. Unfortunately, I don't seem to have any garbage cans here in the park. Or, or not the kind that, you know, like a trash bin. Okay, well, we'll do this. I guess we'll call it quits for now. All right, so we're gonna go do something else. We're not gonna make very good time with you so loaded down. Yeah, yeah. Let me get into my powered exoskeleton. Now I can carry all my stuff and you both. So, we're going to take a little look at things, maybe. Hmm. See, the building actually looks pretty nice there. I mean, since I can't get to what's behind it. Oh, yeah, I know what I'm doing now. I'm looking for more fertilizer. It's, I'm kind of in a, uh, a bit of a pickle here because I've done some looking on the Wikipedia and I shouldn't actually be able to sell her fertilizer at all because you're supposed to be doing, you're supposed to have done all of this before you do the hole in the wall that, you know, the one where you go and you find the, uh, mole rats and the reason why the kid got Austin got bit and how to save him and all of that and if you, supposedly if you don't do it before you do that then well you're not going to do it at all so it's like so I I'm, but it's but it's working she's I'm selling her fertilizer and she seems to be happy with that so I don't know I think if she's going to cough up the fresh mute fruit it's just going to show up in the uh, cafeteria on the tray on the tables with the other fresh vegetables because i mean you know there's fresh corn and fresh melons and you know there's there's quite a bit of fresh stuff there just not the fresh mute fruit that i need to make the seedling table for my uh Institute people. Go figure. Now see, I'm moving tires. There's a door. Let's unlock this door, shall we? So what's inside here? Well, we've got a gas canister, some stuff, some ammo, Few other useful odds and ends. Okay, I uh, think that's good enough for now. Let's see what else we can do. Is there anybody, anything else around here I could actually look into? 
There's this garage, but it turns out there's not really anything useful in the garage. There's a, there's a broom. Ooh! God knows how useful a broom can be. Yeah. And yes, this is the Watts Consumer Electronics that we don't care about. away again. That's kind of an interesting little thing there. It's like, why is there like a ramp up and down there? It seems kind of oddly arbitrary. Anyways, we're walking along seeing if anything else is explorable. But we're getting close to Feral Ghoul Alley and ooh, there's an antenna. Can I raise these antennas? Didn't know if there was a raisable antenna here. And well, I guess not. I'm not seeing a terminal for it anywhere. So I guess that's not something. Although here's a uh, sponge pail. That was nice. And, oh look. Oh, somebody's battling somebody here. And we've lost my settlement recruitment beacon. Sorry, Fun while it lasts. I wonder who was battling who. Anything in here? You gotta be joking. Oh, geez, right there. Just walk right Find out on me. Ground. Let's go. This one's all mine. Well, go ahead, then. God damn it, I need covering fire. That didn't take much, did it? <laughs> Scavengers I wouldn't worry about so much. Although... We get in a battle with scavengers later well, in the next episode. Don't know if I got him or if Preston got him, but either way, he's he got gotten. So, and what have we got here? Anything? Yeah, if there was a. I needed a 10 millimeter auto pistol. I think that's what it was. Not really seeing a whole lot of anything terribly interesting here. Alright, well, let's finish looting the uh, Rust Devils. To be honest, I would rather have them down here than closer to my settlement. So, I don't complain about that. We, we, yeah, see, that's taking us over, yeah, that's the, uh, <laughs> that's the Brotherhood of Steel over there. It's the Cambridge Police Department that we saw. I don't know what I'm looking for. What am I looking for? I'm looking for that. That's where I'm going to head. Because Grey Garden has bags of fertilizer. Yeah. My Minutemen are here, doing their job. So let's see if we can find some bags of fertilizer here. I should probably get... We could do with a spot of rain. Yeah, well. Get your water elsewhere. Oh, wait a second. There we go. There's a couple bags. Well, that should make her happy. All right, let's go see what the uh, checkpoint is battling. Oh, it looks like a death claw. Oh, great.
Okay. Oh, so much for the death claw. It got thrown somewhere when the was that a plasma grenade, I guess? There we go. Alright, let's go back to Grey Garden. Yeah. Guess that's not to take all day walking. Okay. And, um... Brown, darling. I need you to pick something up for me the next time a trader visits. Yeah. What's that then? Bone to sheer attachment is getting a little dull. We need to replace at least one of the blades. I should be able to acquire a knife easily enough. I'm sure we can repurpose them. I'm sure you'll do your best, darling. Okay, have I got any in here? I don't think so. Oh, I do. Okay. All right, so we've got what? Five bags of fertilizer from here? So let's go down to Vault 81. And we'll see if we can... Uh, I don't know. I hope she starts producing some. Oh, look. Cricket's here. The only way you get old in this job is assume everyone's out to kill you. Everyone wants a piece of what I got. Cricket. Come on, come on! Get your guns here! Small booms, big booms, I got them all. Let's see what you have. Guns, guns, and more guns. Just for you. Wow, Cricket, you really need to uh, cut back on the jet. <laughs> well, I don't really think I need... Much of what she's got. I mean, I could grab the fusion cores, but you know, I'm, I'm actually running around with quite a lot of stuff already anyway. Yeah, I think we'll just skip it for now. One of the things that was. Oh, yes, those. One of the things that was crossing my mind was because I've got another playthrough starting that will eventually take the place of this, only we're not going to call it Fallout for 2022 because it will be in 2024 mostly, so. Excuse me. Things sure are going to change around here. Okay, whatever. We keep the vault safe. Sure you do. But yeah, it'll it'll be the If you want a good meal, see Maria at the cafeteria. She'll hook you up. It'll be a, a new will playthrough, so how's that power armor working out for you? It's working out just fine, ma'am. Just fine. Now it got clipped out here, but I got a message that we needed to go defend oh. someplace again. We got a barber here if you need it. So, I'm not saying you do. Dr. Pensky. There's my favorite Commonwealth traveler. Did you happen to find any fertilizer while you were out? Did you happen to find a new line? Yep. Here you go. Thank you. And just in time for the seedlings. Yes. That's what you've said the last three or four times. So much for the seedlings, where's the actual fruit? Remember, no funny business. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Your pip boy ever act up on you? No, nope. mine's been quite you lately. Mine's fine. Let me see if she says anything different here. Excuse me, Dr. Pensky. I'm so thankful to have Austin alive and well again. Okay, she's not gonna say anything useful. All right, so, so much for that. All right, well, enough of that. I'm just going to have to come back, give it a couple of game days, and then come back and see if those tables have got anything new on them. Yeah. 
Okay, I've just still can't believe this they found an entire section of the vault. Oh, don't want bloody any heck. Okay, we're at Nuka World now. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to re-edit the... I, I, I edited something wrong, so I'm going to have to redo that. So, I'm kind of giving myself a cue so I know where to go. But yeah, we're just going to sit here and we're going to... Uh, here they come sneaking up and then the... Wait. Turrets start taking on and... Oxhorn put his, uh, he made a, uh, turret tower out of the, uh, useful? um, let's trade some things. Okay. okay not, all right. He made a turret tower out of those, uh, alien animatronics and he put it there in this corner and I see why, cause they always show up here. A penetrating shish kebab. Hey there, friend. Preston Garvin, Commonwealth Minutemen. The Minutemen are always welcome around here. Good. Just send word if you ever need our help. That's what we're here for. Sure, sure. Hey, it was awfully nice to meet. You. Take care. <laughs> uh, Preston, the consummate politician. All right, well, let's see what else we can find. I am overloaded now. Humorously enough. Okay, I think I've got everybody. Let's take a look. That turret is functioning. Yep. That turret's going, that turret's going. Okay, all the turrets are going. So we're good to go. Like it was something interesting, but I guess not. All of my houses up there. Yeah, it's time to start unloading stuff now. Plasma pistol. Yeah, just what I need. A stun baton. Ooh. Yeah. Now to get rid of all this stuff. I actually go back later and grab the helmets. Because the one thing I don't actually have a lot of is the combat armor helmets. Usually I'm... The people I'm outfitting in co combat armor, I'm having to give them either uh, military helmets or... Sometimes I'll give them the uh, mining helmets. The mining helmets are nice. It gives them that headlight, literally. So, yeah, I go back and grab the helmets. Okay, is this good enough? I think this is good enough. Where can I sleep tonight? Okay, that one's got somebody in it. Okay, looks like there's a space there. And I parked my power armor right in front of the. Uh, you never know. Might be something. Trader new. spot. It's full in here. All right. All right. What is going on? Oh, it's those idiots again. Well, I'm not going to mess with those idiots tonight. I'm going to call it a day. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll have to go back and re-edit the video and splice everything in together, and hopefully it works. But for now, bye.